You know, the term oh, people say, oh, are you going to jump off a bridge if everybody else does? It comes to mind when I think of certain things like, you know, it just seems redundant to say it, you know, don't jump off a bridge because it's just so obvious you shouldn't jump off a bridge. And there's other things and like I can think of a few others like uh, theory of evolution. I mean, you look around two seconds and obviously nothing's evolving into anything. Any mutation is always a bad one. And we're already cloning stuff. Obviously, we were created. And yet every school in the world, I mean, somehow everybody's jumping off the bridge and everybody else just says, oh, yeah, I should just jump off the bridge and say, yeah, evolution is a th real theory. You know, it should take two seconds and you go, oh, look, this is a bridge. I shouldn't jump off it. If I do, I will be like, whatever, you know, <laughs> stupid as hell. And, um, and yet, uh, it's just this how zombified our our whole society is, is that they they think that oh evolution is a theory. Another one is homosexuality. I mean, you stick a dick in the mouth and a butt, or whatever. It's not it's not procreation. Sex is procreation. As the animals, as the plants, saying it, it seems redundant. You know, there was a reason why it wasn't in any language in the world until Germany made it up. Germany made it up. Before that, there was no language in the world with this term homosexuality because it's not a, there's no such thing as homosexuality. I mean, two guys can't make kids, two girls can't, you know? It's not possible. It's sex, homosexuality is not possible because sex is procreation. Sex organs are for procreation. Um, and so it's, it's just saying this, it seems redundant. It seems like I, I'm, I'm, it seems like a stupid thing to say because, you know, it's like saying, don't f jump off a bridge. I mean, I obviously wouldn't jump off a bridge. Why would you jump off a bridge? And yet people are jumping off the bridges, you know? I mean, because they're a bunch of zombies. They're just completely mind fucked. And uh, anyways, another one is silver. If you're going to invest in something, invest in silver. That's my, it sounds redundant to say it, but really, I mean, there are no more silver reserves in the world. Um, most investors here assume that, that silver is almost 50 times cheaper than gold because it's more abundant. Um, it's not true at all. There's basically zero silver in reserves, like um, the US reserves. This is USGS government stockpile none. I'll put this uh, article in the description box. I'm not gonna read it all. Uh, silver is used in almost everything, electronic, CDs, cell phones, TVs, whatever, batteries. Um, it's also used in chemtrails, a silver iodide. They're creating a silver screen in the sky because um, otherwise we wouldn't have stars because <laughs> the stars are actually just a fake. We've been separated off. It's a whole shebang weird thing. Anyways, um, but yeah, they do use silver in chemtrails. And uh, so you can't recycle that. You can't recycle your cell phones. You can't recycle anything, the, the silver out of it. It's, it's more expensive to recycle it out of it than to mine more from the earth. Anyways, this article goes into all that, including how much is mined every year and how much demand there is. And the, the demand is just so much more than the what is mined out of the earth that all the silver reserves have disappeared um, because they've been trying to meet the demand and now we're out of silver reserves and it's being artificially suppressed. Silver is, there's a lot more gold. It, almost all the gold that's ever been mined is still above ground. It's still like in use. It's still somewhere, it's stockpiled somewhere in jewelry, in bars and whatever. Um, the, the, there's basically no gold that's been scrapped been thrown in the garbage but silver is thrown in the garbage like millions of ounces a year because it's all used in electronics and we're running out um like this guy he says in the future he figures um dump, garbage dumps will be um uh where is it anyways people will be digging in garbage dumps for um, so silver, um, 
to try to get it out of the electronics, they'll be uh, dumpster diving, you know, into the garbage dumps for uh, scrap silver uh, in cell phones or stuff because it's going to be just gone. I mean, we, we're, we're, there's no more silver um, left anywhere. And uh, people are realizing this around the world slowly, but it's it's really being suppressed. And it just it just takes some rational thinking, you know. There's no silver reserves. There's a lot of gold reserves, and but this price of silver is fifty times less than that of gold. So if if all of a sudden silver goes up to the price of gold, it's going to be fifty times more valuable. Fifty times. I mean that means if you have, uh, anyways, it's just mind boggling. Um, you invest a thousand dollars, you're going to have fifty thousand dollars. That's the kind of thing. Um, and so, uh, yeah, I would just suggest that. And read this article. And also, there's a lot of fake gold, uh, fake, well, gold-plated things, silver-plated things. But it's, I mean, I don't, I say don't invest in gold, right? Because we have way too much gold everywhere. Um, silver is basically running out and there's nothing left in the reserves and um there's a lot of silver plated gold bullion or gold gold uh uh or silver t bullion bars it looks just like a regular silver bullion bar or silver coin like a silver eagle or whatever but it's fake and so you have to be careful about that i i only buy from my bank um so it's got you know a bank stamp on it they made it um, or from, uh, and I, I, there's only one bank in Canada that actually sells silver, which is Scotiabank. And that's why I switched to Scotiabank was because I took, so I could buy silver. So yeah, I buy silver from Scotiabank. I buy it from reputable bullion places that only buy coins and bullion. That's their, that's their business. And, um, they know they wouldn't buy a fake, you know, they test it and they know what what's real what's not and so i'd never buy a fake and, and i'm selling it on ebay i'll put my ebay store information in the description box so people can buy it because i'm trying to make it into a business because the only business i can possibly do right now it seems is is sell silver because it's all i have that would actually be sellable um all right that, uh, i can't I, I don't know anyways it's, i'm trying to make it into a business so that i don't have to work in a darn grocery store um and uh, i'll just you know buy more silver once i sell silver but uh i'll just sell it for a bit more i i i, I put my prices a bit higher than some of them on ebay because i mean there's a lot of fakes out there and whatever you don't know like i i know that everything i have is authentic real pure silver or sterling silver or whatever i'm selling and um and so I, I, I put, uh, you know, the prices are a few dollars higher, but I mean, you know, you're getting an authentic pure silver coin, pure silver bar, stuff like that. Anyways, buy silver. It's just a no brainer. You know, it's like, if you don't buy silver, you're jumping off a bridge, basically, financially. Um, probably. I, I mean, uh, you could buy a house, things like that. There's other things to invest in, but I mean, Silver is just, wow, you know, <laughs> just such a perfect place right now to invest. Um, I can't say more about it, you know, it, it, it just seems redundant to be saying it at all.